Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. Welcome everyone to another episode of Geocaching with You Got a Friend in PA. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. This is my second episode that I'm going to film up here, Hickory Run State Park. I found a cemetery that I never knew existed. Up on the hill by the ranger station, there is a cemetery. There is a geocache at the cemetery that gives people a hard time. But I found it. So let's start this episode off in a cemetery with a micro. Take a look at the cemetery. It's not that big. We come over here. Right over the edge of the of the hill is the road. And right down there through these trees where my finger is is the park office. Right at the bottom of the hill on your way out. Now over in this corner is where the infamous geocache is that people have a hard time finding. So, I'll come over here for a better clear view. And we're going to start playing the game. Here we go. Found a micro gray duct tape spice container. It's a two and a half difficulty three terrain. Because from parking to the cemetery, you got to climb up a hill. It's not bad. Anybody can do it. I did. Now, let's show you ground zero. In the video that you're watching, ground zero is in it. It is now time for your Geosense challenge. Location number one is this micro. Here, in a hole in a down tree. Location number two is this micro hidden here in the rock location number three is this micro under this rock behind the geopile all righty i showed you three locations of where this micro could be hidden take the pole up in the corner bring back the three locations along the bottom and let's get ready for a first elimination of today and right now let's take the opportunity to eliminate location number one you had to see that one coming now you got a 50 50 chance on where this geocache could be where do you think it is is it location two or is it location number three here we go here comes your answer in five, four, three, make your choice, two, and one. Location number two is ground zero. This is where you're going to find it. You're going to come up in the cemetery. You're going to walk to the back of the cemetery. And you're going to find this rock wall with a down tree. You're going to make your way over to the back of the down tree. And then you're going to put the cache back. This cache. Down here. That's how it was. The original hint that was given people are having a hard time finding it why because there's barely anything left to the old tree stump but i did find a tree stump eventually by clearing off some leaves and right above the tree stump is the geocache all right let's see if we can find another geocache for today what do you say geocache number two next but when you're done with this video, hop on over to my social media accounts. Visit me on Twitter at you got a friend in P1 or Facebook and Instagram at geocaching with you got a friend in PA. All right, everyone. Sun's going down. I'm in the woods, but not too far. I got myself an ammo can for cache number two. 
This is a regular, too difficulty, two terrain. In the video that you are seeing, Ground Zero is in it. Now for a GeoSense challenge. Location number one is the ammo can here. Location number two is the ammo can in the geopile. Location number three is the ammo can here under the down tree. All right, everyone. You got to see three locations of where this geocache could be hidden. We have an ammo can. Take the pole up in the corner. Now, bring all three of them back. Take one last look at the three locations. And now, one of them is going to be eliminated. You ready for the elimination? Number three is not it. So it's either location one or it's location number two. One is actually ground zero. You ready? 50-50 shot that you're going to get this right. Here comes your answer in three, two, one. Location number one is the correct ground zero at the base of the tree with a small geo pile. Let's show you what it looks like as I put it back. All right, you come over here, duck under this tree branch. You have a tree here with a pretty hollowed out root system. And then this is in there as far as you can put it. And then you're gonna have two sticks over top. This is supposed to be an easier cache for families with kids to find. Well now I'm gonna get out of here so I can get back to the car before it's total, total darkness. At least back to the road. All right, I got a, two creek crossings I gotta do and I'll be back at the car. Stay tuned, cache number three will be coming and this one's gonna be done in the dark. I made it out of the woods. I'm on the road. I see the car right down here at the parking lot. The sun's going down in the west and the moon. Hopefully you can see it. Right underneath that tree branch. The moon is already out. It's enough light where I can see what I'm doing. Whether or not it comes out in the video, I don't know. But I am going to do another geocache for this episode. I'm going to film it at night. I'm going to see how it turns out. Obviously, I will not be hiking in the woods. This is going to be somewhere where it's a short walk from the car. See what I can find on my map that I haven't gotten yet. I'll be back. To buy my gear and support my channel, visit www.teespring.com slash stores slash you got a friend in PA. You will find three different t-shirt designs and many choices of colors and types apparel. Also get my logo on mugs, stickers, phone cases, and many more items. We left the state park. I headed down a road. Uh, I'm at the intersection of 115 and 903. I got two billboards and on the billboard we have this micro. It's a fake nut and bolt. It's a two and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. Now, I'm going to show you ground zero right now. All right, this is ground zero. You got two billboards here. Now let's play a quick game of here or there. Is this fake nut and bolt here on the outside of the I-beam leg? Or is this fake nut and bolt there on the inside of the I-beam leg? I showed you two locations of where this container could be hidden. It's either going to be hidden here or it's going to be hidden there. But before I tell you the answer, Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notifications and leave a comment down below on how well you did on the GeoSense challenge. Now, I asked you, is this container here or is this container there? 
now I'm ready to tell you. In three, two, one. You're gonna find this container there. It's on the inside of the IV. Here's what we're gonna do. You come past the rocks, you have that leg uh, near the road, then you have this leg here, uh, then you have this leg here, you have this one here, then you have this one down here. It's on this one. There's a little four-wheeler trail here, but you come to the last leg, and when you come to the last leg, come around the backside, and there is your geocache container. It's real close to parking, and this one isn't hard at all. So, I'm going to take the time now. I brought you three geocaches, and now we're going to wrap it up. As always, folks, happy trails, happy caching. Go get yourself a smiley. <laughs> All right, everybody. Found a container, gray, duct taped, looks like a spice container. It's gonna be a two difficulty, three terrain. Cause from parking up to the hill, I mean, three, two, one. It's a three, two, one. Found a micro. I see the car right down here at the parking lot. The sun is going down. There's the sun going down. And that's, yeah. The sun's going down in the west and the moon. Hopefully you can see it. Right underneath that tree branch. The moon is already out.